all with their appropriate percentage of lead to tin. So this is 100% tin, 10% lead, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100% lead. So now comes the process of turning them the molten. Oh boy. There we go. Now for this, uh, let's do this one. I'll show you this one. I will be using all three arrangements because I want to do this pretty quickly. That makes this camera arrangement. So here we have, this is the hot pot. This is my favorite because people say it looks scary and I think it's really practical. So I will be mounting the 0% lead, so 100% tin in here. So all you do, you pour into the hot spot wherein you will be waiting for said metal to melt. All right, we're now over at my arrangement for the 20% lead because well my camera decided not to focus for the zero percent or in other words pure tin so hopefully this camera stays focused this looks like it's still full of pups but that is a lie check it out is that not the coolest liquid you have ever seen in your life It's weird. It it does not make wet. <laughs> All right. So if you ever want to know a liquid that doesn't make things wet, well, metal. So I'm going to back you up a little bit. And I'm going to take this pair of pliers and... Why don't you actually come? I'm going to scoot the hot plate back a tad. And I'm going to bring this over so you can see a little better. So I'm going to take, use my tongs, I'm going to grab the back of the crucible. I'm going to bring it over here. And then this is the spot plate. This is what I'm going to be putting the metal into. And you're just going to be, woo! Not that excitable. Uh, I'm just being very really imprecise, apparently. There we go. That's a little better. That's a good one. So you want to make these little coins. And that looks like that's about it. And you'll see on the inside here, you'll see the shiny, weird, weird, weird looking stuff. This is the oxidation. So this stuff has about the tech that and all you're gonna do is go to the other side of the hot of the spot plate not hot plate and you're gonna scrape it off just so it's out of the way you're gonna set the crucible back up on top of there so it stays hot for the next round and these little spots are what we're going to be using for the next portion of this experiment. These are hot and will stay hot for a little bit. Don't touch them. Genius, what a concept. Molten metal that just turned solid is hot? Yeah, yeah it is. So the way you wanna tell when these things are cool, you're gonna to touch the ceramic next to them. Ceramic is an insulator. That means it's not going to transfer the heat to your finger as fast. Thus, you don't end up with a torched finger. Yay. 
Once these are cool, however, you're going to write the percentage directly onto the top. So you are going to write, in this case, wow, that's upside down, 20%. Until that point, leave the cup upside down next to that. That way, everybody knows that these guys are 20%. Goody, goody, gumdrops, let's go. All right, many long times later, we have all of them done. Sweeping over her. Oh no, I'm knocking them out of order. So we now have. I'm gonna whitewash the screen for a second while we're trying to decide to adjust. There we go. Each has little pads, each of which is labeled with the given percent of its concentration. This is so we know what's up. When come the second part of this experiment, where we will be dealing with the phase changes of these different concentrations. So we're going to be studying specifically binary phase diagrams. Coming to you in the second portion of this lab.